the cryptocurrency market can be quite confusing because what people want is they want to invest into solid projects that are safe, that will assure that their funds are safe, and in return, they can get good profits. And what they're expecting is they're getting, they want to get 10x, 50x, 100x, even 1000x or 10,000x. That is what they're expecting to get out from these projects. But they want these projects to be solid. They want these projects to be safe, which cannot happen. We have two different types of projects. One project that is safe, that is reliable, that is solid, that is legitimate, but people already have invested a lot of their money in it. It already have generated profit for people. Now it cannot make 10x, 50x or 100x because it already has reached the peak. On the other hand, the profits that do um, offer these type of returns, they're high risk, they're not safe. So definitely there is a gap between these two type of projects. There's a gap between these two type of audiences. The project that I have for you guys in this video, it is called Curve Eno. This project is bridging this gap. What we have is, if you know about Curve Finance, I'll give you guys more details on it. But in general, that is a very solid project, that is a safe project, but people already have heavily invested into it. It cannot possibly generate those type of returns that we get from the meme projects. So now we have Curve Inu, whose purpose is it is a meme coin that is going to provide this thing to the people. It is, you know, it is a meme coin, it is high risk. It can generate and it will generate these type of profits that people, you know, are expecting because it is newly launched. Uh, alongside this, they will be educating people about the Curve Finance, all the things that it has to offer, all the benefits that they can get from it. That is the purpose of this. Um, I'll explain the whole project to you guys in this video. There's a lot of interesting opportunities like staking, LP boosting and so forth that we can use to generate a profit. So that is what we're gonna talk about in this video. Make sure you uh, watch till the end. As always, anything that I'm gonna say in this video is not going to be an investment or a financial advice. So always do your own investigation and research. And with this out of the way, Let's get right into it. Now, here we are in the official website of Curve Eno. Now, in the introduction, we talked a little bit about the Curve Finance because it was important to establish ground for this token. Um, but to talk more about this, Curve Finance, that is basically a backbone of decentralized finance. They enable low slippage swap among some of the most widely used cryptocurrencies, which include, we have Ethereum, we have Bitcoin, uh, and we have uh, stable coins and many other Ethereum-based tokens. So, Curve Finance and then native token, CRV, it has uh, a significant role in the whole crypto market. CRV token, that is like having a key to control, you know, how the money flows in crypto. So that is really significant. But we already have talked about this. That is, if you put them in categories, the Curve Finance, it is among the category, which is, you know, a safe project, a legitimate project, very well developed, uh, a strong community that is actually backing it, which I can show you guys right now. You can see they have over 354,000 followers on their Twitter account, official Twitter account. So it becomes, it comes under that category, which is that it is a very solid project, but it will not provide you with all the massive returns that people expect in crypto, not 10x, not 50x, not 100x, not 1000x it won't be able to provide all that because it is already at peak. It has $2 billion, more than $2 billion in total value locked at this moment, even in the bear market conditions. So you can establish how strong it is right now. But the thing is, it won't be able to give you guys that return. And that is what most people are hesitant. Um, most of the people who wants to make 10x, 50x or 100x, they won't be going for Curve Finance. And that is why Curve Inu is here. It is a meme coin. Uh, that is going to provide people with this thing, 10x, 50x, 100x. Um, and we'll talk about, you know, what makes, you know, what assures that it will be possible. And we'll talk about their mechanism, all the benefits, all, all the features that it has to offer. But it is going to satisfy that need of people to be able to get these sort of returns. Of course, it is high risk, but it will be high rewarding as well. And then alongside when, while well, this is happening, they will be teaching, they will be providing knowledge and awareness to people about Curve Finance and all the features it has to offer, all the opportunities that it has to offer, because what Curve Finance offers, that is sustainable. That is going to ensure you a sustainable income. And that is what most people use Curve Finance. So eventually, 
they will be kind of like migrating people from the, uh, you know, who comes into Curve Eno. They will be giving them knowledge and the awareness. And eventually they will be using the Curve Finance as well. And they will be breaking down that barrier. That is how Curve Eno will be bridging a gap between these two type of audiences. So I think that is pretty clear. Now let's talk about the uh, Curve Eno, um, all the mechanisms and all the features that it has to offer. First of all, it says, this is the actually the official website of Curve Eno. It says it is a Curvy is a liquidity layer accumulator that is aiming to educate and spread awareness about Curve. The Curvy, which is the native token of Curve Eno, it is a liquidity layer accumulator for the Curve token. That is the native token of the Curve Finance. So it will be they will be gathering the CRV token because, like I said, it is a key that controls you know how the money flows in crypto. So it is a very important coin in cryptocurrency, and they will be accumulating it. And they will be actually giving us more reasons uh, and they will be disclosing uh, the reason for, for why they're actually accumulating the CRV, uh, which will be in the next phase. So I'm also kind of like waiting for it. Um, but this is, you know, what they're doing. This is what liquidity layer accumulator means in this sentence. We already have talked about the education and the awareness part. Now we get the prompt right here. And uh, this is the way through which you can buy the Curvy token, the native token of the Curve Inu project. How you do that is, you just have to come over here. Uh, you got multiple options, multiple payment options uh, to choose from. Um, in my case, I have connected my MetaMask wallet. You can see there's three tabs that are involved for you to buy the Curvy tokens. One of them is, it says email, but if you put down there your uh, MetaMask wallet, uh, you won't have to put your email address down. So that part is done. Make sure that the wallet that you're connecting, it has sufficient Ethereum in it so you can buy it, which you can do it right here. Uh, you just have to, choose how much Ethereum that you want to use to get the Curvy tokens. You put it down and then you can uh, swap it to get the Curvy tokens. It is as simple. And we have a lot of payment methods. I think we have more than 300 wallets that we can use. Uh, we also have an option for debit and credit card. We possibly will be having the payment for bank transfer. I'm not sure if it's currently here. We also have GPay and, and we also have Apple Pay. So we have a lot of options to be able to buy this token, which is pretty straightforward. Now let's talk about the fees that we have on Curvy token. When anyone buy the token or sell the token, there is going to be a 6.663% tax, uh, among which there is 3.333% that is uh, you know, kind of like allocated, which is used to increase the liquidity uh, pool floor. Uh, and the 2.2% that is converted into Ethereum, which is eventually used to buy the Curve token, the CRV token, which we already have talked about before. They do have some plans to do with it, and they'll be disclosing it in the next phase. Uh, we actually have a lot of amazing things coming in the next phase, and I'll tell you guys that in this video, so make sure that you keep on watching. Uh, and then we have the remaining 1.11% of the tax that is going on an operational treasury for helpers. You can read more about it uh, on the Medium page that we have right here. So this is how it is distributed. Now, what are the features? Actually, we talk, we're going to talk about the features now. Um, one of there's a, like a like a game in this, which is actually pretty interesting because we know you know gas fees in Ethereum it is really really massive, and when you're dealing with meme coins, um, you don't want that type of gas fees. So of course that is an issue that we have in Ethereum, but we have this game that is actually converting this. You know you know you having to pay gas fees, you can actually earn money through it. How? So what happens is you head over to the contract um, on the Etherscan. You can simply click on it right here. And then you'll be going to the contract tab, which is right here. Actually, it will open up automatically. And among this, you first of all, you will be connecting your Web3 wallet. Um, click on OK. I'm going to use my MetaMask. And uh, it is connected. Actually, I already have signed in before. So it may ask you for some extra steps. So just follow along. Then you click on Fetch. And then you click on Write. It's going to cost you, I think, 16 to $20. We have more inf information about it right here. It says, in most cases, users pay gas to swap tokens and the tax functions on the coin can drive gas prices even higher due to LP additions and tax related transfers. Curve Inu takes a different approach. Instead of spreading the gas costs across all the users who are sw swapping the tokens, it turns gas fees into a capitalist opportunity for one user who can call the fetch function and receive a percentage of the tax that is actually collected. Now it cost, this function typically cost less than $20. Uh, when I did it, it cost me $16. And once you, you know you do that, you start getting a portion from the, you know, the fees. So this eventually makes this opportunity for us to earn in this. 
through the gas phase, which usually you have to pay for. So this is a unique feature that we have. And it really goes with the, you know, the curve finance because, you know, that is what curve finance does in the crypto industry. And that is what curve, you know, is offering us. So I think that's pretty interesting. Now we have features in, you know, in place to ensure fairness and to ensure security. One of them is anti-snipe feature, which is says linearly increasing the amount of supply you can buy per block over the first day of the launch. This is to make sure that it is it is fair launched. Um, there's no one sniping in a sense. Uh, then we also have anti-sandwich that allows users to only make, you know, they can only make one trade per block. This prevents users from using flash bots and some of the things that are called MEV, uh, minor extractable value extraction tools. Um, all these things basically ensure that it is safe. Everything here is justified. Now we have 75% of the supply ceded to LP locked for two years and you can actually check it out on, on the contract. It says you can verify by reviewing the verified code on the either scan starting at line of 513. So this basically ensures that everything here is pretty solid, pretty safe. We, they have allocated 15% for marketing, which is pretty essential. Then they have 10% reserved for exchange listings. So these are basically the features that we have in Curve Inu. Just going over again, we have the anti-snipe, we have the anti-sandwich, we have the fetch feature, and we have the LP lock. All these things ensure that it is safe and you can confirm it for yourself. So these are all the features that we have. Now, if we talk about the future planning uh, on what's happening, uh, you can actually read through it on the meeting page as well, but I'll you know, uh, tell you guys right now. We already know that they're, they they plan on buying the CRV token. They have allocated a portion from the tax that they will be using to get Ethereum and then eventually the CRV token, the Curve token. Uh, they will start buying it in the officially in, in the phase two. Um, we have the staking. Uh, we will have the staking opportunity in this one, which is kind of like a saving, you know, uh, having a saving account in the bank. Basically, you lock your tokens, the supply, and you get rewarded and you start getting rewarded for it. You start getting interest from it. And that is actually beneficial for the for the Curvy token as well because when people keep their Curvy tokens locked up uh, and they don't sell it, it will actually increase the demand for the token. There will be more people that will be that will basically buy it and the price of it will go up. Then we have a feature that is called LP boosting. Um, it is a bit like staking, not actually like staking, but a bit like staking. Uh, it involves... A pair of cryptocurrencies. In this case, it'll is it'll be Ethereum and the Curvy token. Now, what happens is by providing liquidity to uh, Uniswap, you can do that on Uniswap actually. Um, you make it easier for the big investors, um, which we refer to as VLs, uh, to trade these two coins. Um, you know, without causing uh, big price swings. We have seen this mechanism that the VLs and the big investors they usually avoid dealing with small or illiquid uh, tokens because it's hard for them to uh, buy or sell a lot of them uh, when the you know the price is moving too much. So that is what the LP boosting is going to prevent. And we're going to have more investors into it and more big investors and bills into it. And now in the phase four, this is something that they are planning to do. In the phase four, they aim to get a special license that will allow them uh, to work with real world businesses uh, in specific industry. They haven't disclosed which industry, but it is going to be a specific industry. This license will basically help us make uh, crypto payments uh, more accessible. Uh, for this industry, which will possibly make them compete MasterCard or, or Visa. Then there's another thing coming and that will be before this happens, before the, you know, the whole uh, money transmitter license, it will be in the phase three. Uh, they plan on actually creating a, a stable coin uh, called Doggy USD. It's connected to something called CDP, uh, which stands for collateralized debt positioning. But the point is they're planning on making this stable coin called Doggy USD, which means that we will be using the Curvy tokens to create the Doggy USD. They will also be opening a pool that combines Curvy, um, CRV USD, USDC, and DAI, which will direct rewards from CRV into this pool. And eventually, this is going to make the Curvy token deflationary. Why? Because we will be using the Curvy token to buy the Doggy USD stablecoin. And that is eventually going to make the Curvy token more and more scarce. And when we do, you know, when people are staking, when there's, you know, LB boosting, and then when we, we are buying the, you know, the Doggy USD stablecoin using Curvy token, we will actually be increasing the price of the Curvy token itself. So all these things, all these features are in place to ensure that the price is going to be skyrocketing uh, in the near future. And I think, kind of like right now, we have we are having this mini bull run. Um, but when we actually do get into that major bull run, I think this is one of the projects that we should be in when we're getting into the bull run. 
So this is an exciting opportunity. Um, if you have any question regarding this, um, you can ask me in the comment section. I'll give you guys all the links in with in the description. Uh, everything else will be there. So you can get all the links and everything else from there as well. Make sure that you follow them on their Twitter profile. They currently have about 1,175 followers, which is increasing. Uh, it is a new project. So they are developing this community. Uh, it is growing rapidly. We're getting more and more followers every single day. So that is great. Uh, make sure that you follow them on their Twitter. Uh, there's more people talking about um, Curve Inu uh, on Twitter. We have this post from uh, Demi DeFi, which is a very extensive report. Um, so you can give it a read. I think it's pretty interesting. And uh, uh, But yeah, basically make sure that you follow them on, on Twitter. I'll give you guys their other social media links as well, uh, as many as I can find. But yeah, uh, this is all of you guys in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one shortly. So stay tuned.